All right, what's good? So the first thing that you do when you pull up to the inspection is get the drone in the air. Come closer. This is my case that I use. I got a hard case so that it don't, and also waterproof, so that it doesn't get damaged. I got a couple extra batteries in there. Here's my controller. And as you can see, I already had a drone up in the air. Now, for me, what I recommend doing is, is taking your pictures and videos first, getting those up out the way. So the first shot that I take, is directly over top of the house and I look down on it so that I can see the full roof. Thing that I'm gonna do, this is a gable roof. So I got two slopes and a continuous ridge. I'm gonna take a shot of each one of my slopes. So I need to come down a little bit. I'm going to pan back so that I can get this first slope over here. Adjust my camera. On the drone, you have triggers. This is for your photo, this is for your video. This is a zoom. These uh, dials here are for zoom and also to control your gimbal. So now I got this shot of this slope. I'm gonna go on the other side of the house. Good shot. Nice. <laughs> All right, so now that I've got those done, now I want to move to my roof penetration. So on this house, I see I got a chimney and I have at least one plumbing vent so I'm gonna come down for the penetrations I want to get closer because I want to get shots of the penetration itself I want to be able to determine the material and also the installation and of course any defects that I may see which is very common with the flashing for plumbing vents so I'll come there's that shot and then I also take a shot where I am directly over and again, I look down. This is the shot where I'm able to see the flashing. Got that. So next one I wanna do is my chimney. Mind you again, I'm not taking the time to really inspect and look. I'm literally just taking my photos, okay? So here's my chimney. I wanna get both sides of it. So I'll take this side first and then I'll come on the other side, turn them around. And then I'm going to come down some and I'll take this side of the chimney, get a little bit closer. I want all angles of the chimney, including the top. The next thing that I'm going to get is, is my ridge. Again, as we mentioned, this is a gable roof, so we got a continuous ridge. On this particular roof, we have ridge cap shingles installed. So I want to take a look at those ridge caps. I also have here in the front a dormer. Remember, we talked about dormers. So I have a valley here. This particular valley has a continuous piece of metal flashing installed, okay? So that is what type of valley. So I'll take shots, photos of both of the valleys as well as the dormer. I'm gonna move to my trim now. So I'm going to come down to the uh, actually, I'm going to go to my roof drainage system. So I'm going to come to the gutters. I'm going to take a shot of the gutters in the front and also in the back. Like you want to get close so that you can determine and make sure so that you can make sure that the gutters are properly attached into the fascia and that they are slightly sloped away. So that's what you're going to be looking for. And also, obviously, that they're free of debris. Okay, so those are all of my pictures. So that was about 10, 12 minutes and it took me a little longer because I had to talk to y'all, but that was taking all of my pictures. I'm gonna take one video of the entire roof more for the aesthetic and cosmetic presentation of my report. And then I'll be done with the pictures and then I'll actually get into my actual visual inspection.